Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. For Delta VDCS lovers, this is another video which is going to cover how to make a program for flow totalizer in Delta VDCS environment. So what would happen? First of all, you got in a flow measurement done by any field device or instrument and then it would be connected to your DCS system and the signal that is coming from the field instrument would be 4 to 20 milliampere and that is going to fetch into your DCS system. Our task today is to program a flow totalizer by using this particular flow measurement. So first of all in order to write in a code you have to go to your Delta V environment. All you have to do is you have to right click on the area and then select new and then control module. We would be naming it as flow totalizer and then select OK. After that what you have to do is you have to open up this particular module right click open and open with control studio it would open up a programming environment where we would be creating a program for flow totalizer. First of all what you need is you need to have analog input the flow measurement input would fetch in here so after that what you have to do you have to select the math from here and from the math you would be using this particular block named as integrator. What you have to do is you would be connecting it to N1. Now let me explain what are the key parameters that you have to take care while making the program. So let me explain few parameters which are very important for this integrator block. To totalize flow over one hour period you have to configure integrator type from zero to question mark. What it is let me explain. So if you can see here zero to question mark periodic reset counts upward and reset periodically. The period is going to be set by clock per parameter. What is that clock per parameter? This clock per second is going to specify the, how much time you want integration process to work and when you want to reset. For instance if you set up clock per seconds 20 second then your flow totalizer are integrated it's going to count up till 20 seconds and once the 20 seconds are passed it's going to reset it. And here uh, let me explain that. First of all uh, what we have to do here is you can see here on the block side you got an in N1 where you would be connected to flow measurement. So uh, let's start programming right now. You can see here this is analog input which is going to be your flow measurement and this would be connected to N1 and uh, here there are a few important parameters that you have to look into that when I select this. First of all uh, as I explained that integration type should be selected. What I explained earlier that we would be selecting zero to question mark periodic reset which I already explained what it is. You can revise that again if you want. You can recap it if you go a little back. If I select here and if I click on clock per it is 20 second written here that mean uh, this integrator block is gonna count up to 20 seconds and once 20 seconds are elapsed then it's gonna reset. Let me uh, quickly run that project so that you can get a clear idea about this block. So idea is very simple. This flow measurement value would be actually added up into this integrated block on regular interval till the time that you specified here in the clock bar. So if you specified here 20 seconds that mean this particular block will count up to 20 seconds and after 20 seconds it is gonna recycle the process again it would reset it would start counting up again and it would start from you know zero again and it would count up again another 20 second and then it would reset if you can see here and reset for instance if you what is this and reset let me explain that if you're gonna reach for instance um, if 20 seconds are passed and your integrator is actually resetted one time and reset would be one here if in the case another 20 second pass and this would again after another second would uh, 20 second would reset again this n reset will increment to 1 and it would move on like this. So let me 
in order to understand that for sure best way is to download that project and run it in front of you so that you can get a clear idea about this particular program so in order to do that we have to just download that select delta v and then we can just click ok yes and it will take a while and then it would be downloaded now it's been downloaded we can just go online uh, let me give some value to this particular block first of all so in order to do that we would be getting into this simulate and we would give uh, some value first of all we have to enable like for instance I want to give 10 value here so you would see that 10 would be here and this integrated type start counting up it will count up up to 20 seconds when 20 seconds would be passed then it would reset when it would reset this n reset would value would be also incremented you can see that it's now 2 and now it's start counting up again so this is the block that is very helpful for you to calculate a flow totalizer and it have other applications as well which we will talk in later if in the case you guys want to have a personalized training about PLC, DCS, KERA and HMI there's a there's a WhatsApp number provided into the description of this video you can go ahead and contact on that and you can reserve your slot with our specialized instructor thanks for watching if you like this video consider hitting the like button and if in the case you haven't subscribed this youtube channel consider subscribing until next video take care and allah Hafiz.